we all decided to run a campaign to teach our people how to choose the right leaders for this country, not based on tribe, not based on the biggest thief in the room. You get my thinking. Are you with me? Don't you think we run a campaign for the next three years, the 2022 elections will elect better people who are going to make life better for our people? So when you pick up my coffee, you're pointing zero. The first president of this country, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, sorry, Mze Jomo Kenyara, was, was, uh, was imprisoned by the British. He got out of prison. He said he wanted to change Kenya. He became the first president. Pre-independence systems, he fought for independence. The second president of this country, Daniel Arap Moy, served in the Legico, the Legislative Council, the parliament of the colonial era. He was in Lancaster writing the constitution, pre-independence. The third president of this country, Mwai Kibaki, was a secretary general, the executive secretary of Kau before it became Kamnu, before independence. Pre-independence. Ogingo Odinga refused to take up the prime minister position until Kenyatta was freed, pre-independence. We look at everything that we've been doing has been pre-independence. We have a new constitution. President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta is the first president under the new constitution. We've all been putting up a foundation for Kenya. Raila Odinga fought for democracy, changing the constitution and everything, putting foundation. We have put, we've just been laying the foundation. And these are my heroes. Jomo Kenyatta, you know, Gingo Dinga, Daniel Arab Moy, Mwai Kibaki, Pare Pare. They are all my heroes. They have done a great job. But we cannot continue being in a foundation stage forever, my friends. We have transition. These leaders are great. They have put us into the bus. They have taken Kenya to where it is. They have taken us to the airport. But now we need a different type of pilot who is going to fly us to New York City. It can't be the same type of leadership to make this country fly. And I'm not only saying this because I'm running for president in 2022, but, but also because I believe that the change lies in us.